Hey guys, Dan Zeke here, AKA the Zeke Man. Today we're gonna to be going around my hometown of Milford, Connecticut. We're gonna see some historical spots, the beaches downtown, and maybe you'll get to learn something about me. Thanks for coming along this journey, and let's go. Hey, yeah, so this is Anchor Beach. This is in Milford, Connecticut, my hometown, and I hope you enjoy it. It's really, really great. This is the local beach. Behind me is uh, Signal Rock. That's a very iconic spot here down in Woodmont, which is a borough of Milford, and um, that's a new flagpole. We just raised money to put that up, and uh, people jump off that rock when it gets to be high tide, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I used to do that as a kid. So here we are, Anchor Beach, Milford, Connecticut. Here we are in Morningside. Uh, this is a very historic part of Milford. Uh, that's known for its uh, seawall, which is over here. I'll get some better shots in a second. But uh, most like most more than anything, uh, this was my mother's favorite spot in Milford, and we had dedicated a bench to her, which I'll get a shot of in a, in a second. But uh, somebody's sitting on the bench, so I need to uh, go over and talk to them and see if they mind being in this shot. But uh, yeah, Morningside. Uh, it used to be an old trolley stop here in Milford, and uh, this is where we're at. So I'll get a shot at the bench, show you my mom's in my mom's honor, and we'll move on. I think we're going to go down and around the corner to Gulf Beach, um, known because it's on Milford Gulf, and uh, a couple celebrities live down there, Dan Patrick from ESPN, if you know him. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're going to uh, head, still head along the coastline, Go to some downtown restaurants, check in on them, check out the green, Milford Harbor, and a few breweries. So I'll talk to you later. This is Gulf Beach. I used to be the head lifeguard here, believe it or not, a long time ago. We got this hamburger stand. We got the main beach right here. That, that's my old home right there, watching over people. And then over here, this is the entrance to Milford Harbor, which brings you to downtown Milford. Uh, there's a couple uh, restaurants down there. Uh, you can walk off of the dock to, um, and it's a cool spot down there. So if you ever have your boat, and you want to come to um, Milford, then you can definitely go into Milford Harbor, dock your boat, walk in, and go up to Archie Moore's and get some wings and a couple beers. And uh, it's a nice afternoon for you to do that here in Milford, Connecticut.
Welfare. It's known as the small city with a big heart. We have a great downtown area, and we have a mayor that cares. Uh, here's a 9-11 memorial that was put up in honor of the 9-11 survivors and those that we lost. And then, of course, our downtown area with the First United Church, our duck pond that freezes in the winter. You can skate there. This is our Founders Bridge with the Founders Tower. Each one of those cement blocks has the name of a founder from Milford um, from way back in 1620. Milford was founded in 1639. Uh, this area used to be called the Weppawog, and it was bought then, started to be established, and a grist mill was the first thing that was built here in Milford, which gave people the opportunity to move into town and become part of the growing United States as they knew it then. Um, every single colonial town had a church on the green, which we saw just before, and they always had a meeting place, usually a town green where they could meet, and they had a gazebo like this one in front of us. Uh, this is a, this has been redone a couple times, obviously, it's not 300 years old, but it is classic, and this is what? these colonial towns were about you know they needed meeting spots they needed religious worship and uh, they needed an area where they could meet. Milford has one of the longest greens in New England and uh, we're really proud to have it here. <laughs> Seven Seas. Every town needs its own local watering hole. That's for sure. One of the best places in Connecticut for fried seafood. Best known for their fish and chips. I guarantee it's the best you'll ever have. for watching please like share and subscribe and we'll get more content on the way thanks a lot hope to see you soon